These high school students are learning about a city with a very special history. This is what the entire city was supposed to look like back when the planners designed it. Plenty of green space and interesting buildings. These apartment blocks were built in the 1950s in the Stalinist neoclassical style. In Eisenhüttenstadt, the architecture itself is a monument to history. In the model socialist city, industrial workers would live in spacious green housing estates rather than dark and crowded urban tenements. It's a perfect example of what were called palaces for the working man. Jörg Weiser knows that it's the stories and the history behind the architecture that makes it so interesting. What draws people here today is the relationship between the socialist ideals of the former East Germany and the architecture they created. After all, Eisenhüttenstadt doesn't have anything spectacular, like Cologne Cathedral or the Zwinger Palace in Dresden. In Eisenhüttenstadt, the most spectacular sight are the steelworks, visible halfway across the city. The local museum documents the city as it was envisioned nearly 60 years ago. An old architectural map in the grand old city's most familiar to tourists. A central boulevard like this one ends at the palace gate. But here it's the gate of the factory. Eisenhüttenstadt was originally known as Stalinstadt and was renamed in 1961. Old video recordings document the pride of place once held by the model city. Hour upon hour, the digger excavates fresh soil, only recently covered by mighty pine trees. Some for a rolling mill, the rest for a new power plant. And here, a new smelting furnace, the fifth one. The factory was called Eisenhüttenkombinat Ost. Ironworks combine East for short, EKO. Today it's owned by ArcelorMittal, a global steel company. Visitors can take a look behind the scenes and watch molten iron being poured into special moulds. It's heated to over 1200 degrees Celsius and then processed into hot rolled coils. The steelworks now employ about 2500 people, only a fraction of what it was in the former East Germany. But the factory still shapes the city's identity. It's an impressive operation for the visitors too. It was fascinating. I've never seen anything like it before. I didn't want to leave. A visit to Eisenhüttenstadt offers many opportunities to learn about the history of former East Germany. And one of the best ways to understand it is on a walking tour.